Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze the simply supported beam with the uniformly varying load. We see here that there is a triangular load acting on this beam which increases from 0 kN per meter and then increases to 5 kN per meter. And the length of this beam is 8 meter. So how to analyze and how to find out the support direction for this beam? So let's consider this is support A and this is support B. So please, so please follow my steps. It's very easy method to find out the support reactions for such kind of beam where there is uniformly varying load or triangular load or maybe trapezoidal load. So the first step is to find out the area of this load. So how we can find it? So it's a triangular load. So the triangle area, so the triangle area can be found out. Area is equal to the half base into height so half base means the length of the triangle so it is 8 meter and the height is here is 5 kN per meter this is the height of the triangle so it is 5 kN per meter so meter meter will be cancelled if we calculate this value 5 into 8 40 divided by 2 so we got 20 kN so it means that the 20 kN load is acting on this beam here at the centroid of this beam 20 kN so what we did first we change the uniformly varying load we change the UVL uniformly varying load into a pointed load or concentrated load so by changing this we find out the load of the pointed load of 20 kN so now this load acts at the centroid of this beam by centroid I mean for example, if this is a if this is uniformly distributed load, a uh, triangle, a uh, rectangular load, so we know that the, that the load will be acting at the centroid, which will be if this is total L, so this load will act at L by two here and L by two here. But in our case, it's a triangular load. In triangular load, so if it's a triangular load like this, so keep in mind if this is the L and this is the load. So load always acts at 2 by 3 from this end and 1 by 3 from this end. Okay, so now in this case from this B support to this it is 1 by 3 of L, L is 8 meter. And from here to here this load is a distance of 2 third of L which is 8 meter. So, so this distance is one third of eight so now i can write again here for example like this is support reaction r a this is support reaction r b and this is a load of 20 kN. and this is one third of eight which means 2.66 meter and this distance from here to this one this is 2 third of L here and 2 third of L means that is 5.33 meter. So this is the important uh, step to find out first the pointed load or change the uh, uh, triangular load into pointed load and then find out the moment arm. For example, from this in it was 1 third of L and from this in it was 2 third of L. The next step is very easy. So how we can do? We can find out for example this is A point, this is B point. We can take the moment at point B, for example, equal to zero. So then let's take a clockwise moment is positive and anti-clockwise moment is negative. So now the moment at point B equal to zero. So now our A is acting in upward direction, and this creates the moment in a clockwise direction around point B. So clockwise is positive, so it will be R A is the load multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from A point up to B point which is 8 meter, the whole length of the beam. And then the other load that creates a moment about point B is this one, is 20 kN, so it will act around anti-clockwise direction about point B, so it will be negative, minus 20 kN multiplied with the moment arm, the moment arm is the distance from load up to point B, which is 2.66, equal to 0. This is all types of the load that creates a moment up around point B. So now we can shift this value into the right side, this value, so we will get 8RA equal to the, if you multiply this value, so here we got here 
53 20 multiply with 2.6 is we got to have 53.6 so now if we divide by 8 so r a will be equal to the 53.6 divided by 8 so here we got 6.65 kilonewton so this is r a and r a is acting here in this upper direction which is 6.65 kilonewton now how to find out this vertical direction rb here this one rb so simply we can take that the summation of vertical forces equal to zero so how so we can take here summation of vertical forces equal to zero upper forces are positive and downward forces are negative for example we assume this and upper forces are are a is acting in upper direction rb is acting in upper direction so R A plus R B now this 20 kN is acting in downward direction we see here so it is minus 20 kN equal to 0 summation of all vertical force equal to 0 now we know that R A is 6.65 so if we shift all these values into the right side so we get minus 20 so it will become plus 20 and minus R A and now we know that 20 minus R A is 6.65 so if we subtract this 20 from 6.65 we get 13.35 kilonewton so it means support reaction here rb sorry it is it will be rb ra we already found out so rb is equal to 13.35 kilonewton it means the load acting here the load if i write it here so the vertical reaction here is 13.35 kilonewton so this is the way how to find out the support reactions for a simply supported beam with a triangular load. First you have to find out the area and then you have to find out the pointed load and it will act at the centroid and then you have to find out the centroid for each load and then simply you can find out the moment at any point either at B or at A and then you find out the force and then by using the sub equilibrium equation summation of vertical force equal to zero you can find out the another support reaction. So hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.